Okay, so I'm gonna have a go at the next exercise in Codilities um, exercise one. Uh, it's a medium difficulty task, it's called flood depth. So let's get straight into this. Okay, you're helping a geologist friend investigate an area with mountain lakes. A recent heavy rainfall has flooded the lakes and the water levels have reached the highest possible point. Your friend is interested to know the maximum depth in the deepest part of these lakes. We simplify the problem in two dimensions. The whole landscape can be divided into small blocks as described by an array A of length N. Each element of the A array is the altitude of the rock floor of the block i.e. the height of the block when there is no water at all. After the rainfall, all the low-lying areas, i.e. blocks that have higher blocks on both sides, are holding as much water as possible. You'd like to know the maximum depth of water after this entire area is flooded. You can assume that the altitude outside the area is zero and the outside area can accommodate an infinite amount of water. So for example, this is our array that we're given here. The following picture illustrates the landscape after it's flooded. Okay, so we can see that at position zero, we have a block of one. At position one, we have a block of three. At position two, a block of two, etc. all the way through. And then we fill it up with water and we're looking for the maximum depth of the water which is two in this case so the gray area is the rock floor and the blue area represents the water thus blocks three and five have a depth of two or blocks two four seven and eight have a depth of one therefore the maximum depth is two okay for the following array a05 the function should return zero because the landscape cannot hold any water okay okay so what i think i um, need to do is for each block i need to see where the highest block to the left is and where the highest block to the right is so what i think i could do this block is one um, this block is three two one two one I think what I'm going to do is work through from the left remembering the maximum block I've seen so far so at this point we've seen one at this point we've seen three at this point we've seen three because i'm remembering the maximum block i've seen three 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 and then we see one two three four five five and then i think we're going to stay at five as we go across so that's the maximum we've seen from the left. Then I'm gonna go from the right and remember the maximum we've seen from the right. So we start off here with two, then we see four, and then we stay at four, four, then we see five there, five there, and we stay at five. I'm I'm not sure whether I'm doing the right thing here, but um Okay now let's have a look at the original array value. We have one three two one two one five three three Four, two. Right now, to see the depth 
of the water we take the minimum of these two values which is 1 and subtract 1 and we get 0 here we take the minimum of 3 and 5 that's 3 subtract 3 we get 0 minimum of 3 and 5 is 3 subtract 2 is 1 minimum of 3 and 5 is 3 subtract 1 is 2 then 3 minus 2 is 1 3 minus 1 is 2 5 minus 5 is 0 4 minus 3 is 1 4 minus 3 is 1 4 minus 4 is 0 2 minus 2 is 0 and that does correspond we have 1 there and there then we have 2 1 2 0 that does correspond with the depth of the water so I think that's the way to do it um, yeah because even if we go up and come back down and go back up again still the water is going to settle in the, the leftmost peak and the rightmost peak so I was wondering whether this could go wrong but even, even if the shape of the peak is, is sort of sort of this type of thing it doesn't then matter what happens within here if we have another high peak at the end it's still going to be the maximum we've seen to the left plus the maximum we've seen to the right minus the peak that we're looking at which is the depth of the water so i'm reasonably happy with that solution so let's have a go at that Okay, so that's the example given in the exercise description. So what I want to do is I want to make an another two arrays. One to the left, one looking from the left, one looking from the right. So into array, I'll just call left. I'll just call it left. New int array. And it's the same as a dot length. And an interray coming from the right, the same as a dot length. And then I'm going to scan through a from the left. So the index equals zero. Index is less than a dot length. And I plus plus. And I'm going to start off by saying int left height equals zero max left height I don't know whether whether there's better names for this but my left height will do um, and then I'm going to say left height equals the maximum of what it currently is and a at i so in other words what i'm saying is as we scan through uh, we start with a left height of zero when we look at here we're going to set it to one then we're going to carry on and look at there and set it to three carry on and we're going to keep it at three so this is what we're doing so left height is that and then left at i equals left height. Now I may, I'm going to do the right array in the same loop. So in right height equals zero. And then here I'm saying right height equals math.max right height and a at a dot length minus i so we're just coming in from the right is that a dot length minus one minus 
I and then write a dot length minus one minus I equals right height. Okay, so we've set that there and then for each the next step is to loop through and we get the minimum of the left and the right subtract the height of the rock from it and that will get us the depth at this point and we want to keep track of the maximum depth so I'm going to say in max depth equals zero and then I'm going to loop back through our rocks and we'll work out depth equals the minimum of left at i and right at i minus the height of the rock at i and max depth is the maximum of what it is and depth at this point and that's it we return max depth now I just um, I'm going to debug this to make sure that I'm doing the right thing particularly at this minus one minus i point uh, so let's run this and see Okay, two, so we got the right answer, but I'm just going to put a breakpoint there and debug it up to that point and just confirm that our left and right array has the values that I think it should. But the left array to contain one, three, 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 and then five. One, three, 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 three. That's right, and then five fives, five. And the right away we want to contain, coming in from the right, one, two, three, fours, and the rest fives. One, two, three, fours, and the rest fives. Okay, I think I'm reasonably confident about that now, so I'm gonna submit that and see how it does. I'm 100%. So that's my solution to Codility's flood depth task. Thanks for watching.